Well, hi there. Welcome to our weekly video update. Hope you're having a great week. I've been having a fantastic week, and I hope you're having the same. Just a, a couple things that I wanted to remind you about that was shared on Sunday. Um, around the message, first of all, is we're talking about the seeds of change. And um, one of the things that I suppose that I'd really like to emphasize from what happened, uh, what I shared on Sunday was this, that we are gardeners of our soul. That we, It's so important that we watch the seeds that we sow, that we dig out the hard rocks that are there, the hard place, the bitterness, unforgiveness, stuff like that, that we're digging deep into our heart and our soul to deal with those things and creating the soil, which we're going to talk about this coming Sunday, but creating the soil that we can plant, that when God plants seed in our heart, vision, hope, dreams, his promises of his word, which his word is seed to us. And as he plants that in us, that we've created, we've gardened our soul to a place that that seed is going to take hold. The roots are going to go down deep and it's going to produce the harvest, the fruit that, that God intended it to produce. So many of us rob um, ourselves of God's purposes and plan for our life and our destiny because that when God plants a seed, we don't garden the soil of our soul to, to prepare the right environment for that seed to truly take hold. So we're going to look at more of that. We're going to look on Sunday at weeds as well, um, you know, in our life. And that's an interesting analogy there, uh, which Christ uses in uh, the parable of the seed. So on along the path, as we talked about, the rocky places we've talked about. Now we're going to talk about the, 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 the weeds growing up amongst it and um, then also the good soil. And there's some other texts in the New Testament Jesus refers to the seed. You know, the seed can be as small as a mustard seed. There's a, there's a whole message right there. And so we'll be talking a little bit about that as part of our series. Series. So please invite your friends, come along. Sundays are fantastic at the moment. There's a really good atmosphere. There's a great presence of God. Um, we're seeing some good things happen. So we're looking forward to great Sundays as we move forward in July and particularly as part of our series, uh, Seeds of Change. The other thing I just want to quickly remind you of, and, and we're going to flick to it right now, is our video uh, or a pro promotion that we showed on Sunday for uh, our up and coming Dion Hockey Crusade that we're joining with Life Church up at Ingle Farm. And we're going to be um, being part of that. It goes from Sunday night, the 7th uh, of August through to Friday night, the 12th. And, and so we're going to support them in that and, and be part of that. And it's our opportunity to bring friends and invite people to it, um, believing for miracles, lots of amazing miracles. And so we're going to be praying for that. We're going to be fasting for that and preparing our hearts and believing God that we're going to, as a church, see fruit from that as we join together in this region to see God move in, uh, in greater measure. So I'm excited about that. I'll flick to the video um, and then um, we'll come back and I'll say a quick goodbye. See you in a moment. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed that little promo. Um, be praying and fasting for that, being preparing your heart, but also about the people that you can invite. Th this, op this crusade will be a great opportunity for people to truly encounter God. And um, we're going to be very much part of this crusade. We're going to be involved in the upfront ministry, the altar call ministry. We're going to be involved in every part of the crusade there and, and um, praying with them as well as they prepare as a church, as we as a church as well, prepare for this opportunity of this, you know, uh, five, 
six day, uh, five day crusade that we're going to see people come to Christ and people um, change, transformed and healed and miracles happening and lives change and then as a result the church growing and so I'm excited, I'm very excited about it. Uh, also you'll see, uh, just quickly throw this up on the screen as well, our new flyer that's about to come out. So we've got several thousand of these coming uh, in the next few days. Um, so please in the next week or two just start grabbing them and let's start just blitzing our street, our neighborhood, our area, letterbox dropping and maybe a couple weeks later do it again and, and um, they say that's the power of flyers and letterboxes and not just the one off but it's the ongoing uh, flyer in there. So every few weeks let's just put a flyer in people's letterbox. We've got several thousand and there's only 50 of us so we, we can really blitz the area uh, and blitz our neighborhood. So um, those flyers are coming as you see, life is messy. Um, so we, we're going to be talking about well, just as a church, this is how what we do is help people deal with the messiness of life. None of us have got it together. It's how we negotiate through it, how we work together. And God's word is a is a, a manual to deal with life and the mess that life brings. And so um, that's what we are as a church. So some good things on that flyer. Uh, there's the back of it up there as well, and you can have a look at that as well. But they'll be out. Uh, let's be promoting the church that way as well. God bless you. Have a great rest. rest of the week and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday 9 30 11 30 God bless you and also don't forget to feedback if you've got any feedback there for us as well see ya we'll see you on Sunday God bless bye